Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Fanatics Under Wraps NFL Draft Mini Helmets. Eight box, random team break number one. Uh, oh yeah, almost entirely the first round is in this release, including Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniel, Drake May. There's mini helmets, one of a kinds, inscriptions, all sorts of fun stuff here. So, let's do it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. We fill this up straight up, no filler, 32 teams, no combos. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams, one and a five, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Kenneth down to Matt, Matthew. And then one and a five, six times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, and once more, sixth and final time. Got the Jets down to the Bears. And during the trade one, I'll go see if we can if there's more for us to post. Uh, Kenneth with the Jets, Nick with the Rams, Peter with the Broncos, Raymond with the Colts, Karen with the Buccaneers, Patrick with the Falcon, Steven with the Commanders, Adam with the Titans, Walter with the Pats. Uh, Steven, we got the Bills. Eric with the Niners, Christopher with the Vikings, Nick with the Chargers, Pat with the Raiders, Adam with the Cowboys, Alan with the Panthers, Oliver with the Cardinals, Josh with the Dolphins, uh, Adam with the Packers, Raymond with the Saints, Dominic with the Chiefs, Eugene Bengals, Lions, Adam with the Giants, Kenneth with the Jags, Matthew with the Steelers, Ryan with the Eagles, Alan with the Browns, Adam with the Ravens, Randy with the Texans, Yanka with the Seahawks and Matthew with the Chicago Bears. Now, just to cover our bases, I'm pretty sure all the helmets do have their NFL logos on them, but just in case there's a college logo, we'll go to, we'll do our no checklist college rules, which is that it'll go to the team that they are, um, that they're currently on. If they're retired, then they'll go to the team they play for the longest. I'm pretty sure they're all NFL though. All right. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. So stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done, so the list remains the same. We do have another case loaded up if you want to get into it. So big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Thursday, the 22nd, 2024. There's the case right here, so let's pop this open. It says, do not use a blade to open up. I'm gonna be very careful with this here. So we got another one of those checklist cards that we were looking at before set up right here keep these little helmets on camera as much as possible we'll, we'll pull eight out of here so that's what that's what we're expecting and here is the first helmet Yeah, we'll play some, some quick rounds of Who Am I here. Aha, uh -huh, so they don't have the teams. I mean, if, if this is to be believed, they don't have the teams there, so obviously they'll go to the teams they were drafted by. Maybe the helmets aren't. Maybe they signed these helmets during the draft? Before they were picked? Nice, that's kind of a cool look. And then there's like the little sleeve with the fan secure card here. And it also has the name of the player on there as well. You can see from the top camera in these cool little pouches. All right. So this is a rookie, rookie wide receiver, 
uh, had a career in college, had 188 catches, 3,000 yards. This is just in 36 games played. 188 receptions, 3, 000, over 3,000 yards, 22 touchdowns. Who am I? 6'3", 212. Oh, this one has the team on it. So I guess they do have their teams on it. I think everyone can guess this, right? There you go, yeah. Rome Odunze. So that's gonna be for Matthew, Solway, and the Bears. Got the, the card there as well. Got the set on autofocus, so yeah, there you go. We can catch it there. Put that back. Slide this back into its spot. Kind of hard to play, too. Who am I? I mean, unless you're very familiar with your college stats. All right, I am a corner out of Iowa, second round pick, six foot 198. A unanimous All-American, a Big Ten defensive back of the year, Big Ten return specialist of the year, two-time first team, all Big Ten, who am I? There you go, good job. Cooper DeJean is correct. We got Eagles helmet, we do have Eagles helmet. That looks pretty sharp. All these have the Fanatic sticker on the back there too. Authentication sticker. That's gonna be for Ryan P and the Fly Eagles Fly. We got more in the store, folks. These are these are pretty fun. These are pretty fun breaks. Cute little mini helmets. You can display these anywhere without taking up too much space. Sometimes the full-size helmets are impressive, but I don't know where we're putting them. Next one. All right, we've got a 5'11", 165 pound wide receiver from Fresno, California. Went to Texas, first rounder, freshman All-American, Big 12 Offensive Freshman of the Year, two-time first team all Big 12 Conference. 4'240". 
I'm fast. Yep. Xavier Worthy, good job. There you go, that's the player Dom was looking for. He's got the Chiefs. Let's take a look at the helmet. There he is. Nice, there you go, Dom. Thanks for getting in. Four two four four two one forty. That is fast. Another one. You're welcome, Don. Thanks for getting in. Got another one in the store, folks. Another case. Eight mini helmets. Featuring most of the, the current draft class. I know we haven't seen a lot of trading cards with this class, so it's kind of nice to get this added to the collection. Gilo, what's going on, man? How are you? We just pulled a Xavier Worthy mini helmet. All right, this one is not a rookie. I was drafted, who am I? I was drafted in 2021. First rounder out of LSU, six foot 201. NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, a three-time Pro Bowler, PFWA All-Rookie Team. He was a college football national champion. Fred Bolitnikoff Award winner, unanimous All-American, first team All-SEC. Currently, I've got 268 receptions, 3,717 receiving yards, 29 receiving touchdowns. Uh, no, not a quarterback guy. I said, didn't, didn't I say receiver? Wide receiver. Yep, Adams got it first. Yep, Jamar Chase. Nice. No, Gilo, pro helmet, pro helmet. Yeah, well, I don't know what the deal is with Jamar Chase and the contract situation, but nice Bengals helmet. I like that helmet. Signing this way, yeah, I like the stripes on there. It's pretty sharp. Cincinnati Bengals, Eugene Lee with that one. There you go, Eugene. Keep it secure in this pouch here. I mean, they, they definitely got to get that deal done, right? They, they can't go into week one without Jamar Chase, Joe's buddy, Joe Burrow's buddy. There you go, Eugene. <laughs> yeah, I did see the video where Jamar Chase could not admit to Mahomes' greatness. He's got to back up his guy, his buddy, Joe Burrow. If one of your closest friends was Joe Burrow, you're not going to say, uh, not going to say the other guy. All right, that's like saying the names of other breakers in this chat, Chilo. <laughs> All right, who am I? Let me look you up on the Wikipedia. I am a quarterback drafted in the seventh round out of Tulane, 6'2", 217. An AAC Offensive Player of the Year and first team all AAC last year, and then the year before that, second team all AAC.
Nice one, Adam, yeah. Michael Pratt. Who I'm sure will, uh, knowing the, the Packers luck, they'll just have him marinate behind Jordan Love for like, you know, a handful of seasons and he'll become a Pro Bowl quarterback. It's just how they do it. From Favre to Rodgers to Jordan Love to Michael Pratt. Not sure if I'm getting good focus on here, but there we go. Uh, Green Bay Packers. That's gonna be that's gonna be for you, Adam Kupperman. Oh, right, and then he'll become a Jet. Exactly, Adam. That's how that's how it goes. On the post-it, I almost started. I started writing Michael Pratt. I'm not saying this to Michael Pratt. I'm saying this to uh, Adam Kupperman. Well, first of all, you'll get Jets will get Jordan Love after he completes a near uh, after he completes a Hall of Fame career, and he'll go to the Jets. Michael Pratt will then become, you know, their next star quarterback, and then the Jets will get him after his Hall of Fame career at the end of his Hall of Fame career. One. All right, another one. Yeah, I don't. Michael Pratt doesn't need his own helmet. I'm still on the Michael Pratt Wikipedia page. Listen to this. Pratt grew up in Boca Raton, Florida and was homeschooled until ninth grade. He initially attended Boca Raton High School where he joined the football team as a freshman after having never played the sport before. This is according to Wikipedia. He joined the football team as a freshman after never having played the sport before. As a junior, he... Passed for 1,200 yards and 12 touchdowns, nine interceptions, rushed for 447 yards and three touchdowns. Then transferred to Deerfield Beach High School prior to his senior year. And he was rated a three-star recruit. Hmm. Fresh legs. Fresh legs. All right, who am I? I'm going to be a rookie quarterback, 6'1", 215. Played for two colleges in my career. I'm a Heisman Trophy Award winner, a Maxwell Award winner, a Walter Camp Award winner, an AP College Football Player of the Year, Sporting News College Football Player of the Year, unanimous All-American, Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year, first time all Pac-12, second team all Big 12. Sounds like Marcus Mariota. Ooh. Basically, but not him. It's Caleb Williams. That's right, Adam. Hopefully it's a nice inscribed one. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen any of the specialty helmets yet. We've only just seen the standard helmets. Matthew Solway with the Bears. You got Roma Dunze, and you've got the guy that's going to throw him the ball. Caleb Williams. I mean, I don't know. That's... You got to take preseason games with a game of, with a with a lot of salt, a lot of sodium. But I mean, he's looking pretty good. <laughs> Certainly not used to seeing Bears quarterbacks do the things he's done on the preseason field. Let's see if it translates to the uh, to to regular season games when he's going to see the full package of defensive schemes and everything. There you go. There he is. Congrats, Matt. Mm. 
you know, now let's hope he has an amazing career. Where did my where did my pen go? nice pairing there too man you got the receiver you got Caleb Williams you know if you were you know if you were looking to sell you know that, that those two uh, that might pair well together or maybe the PC hold on to them for the next 10 years Caleb Williams stays healthy. He might be breaking all sorts of Bears quarterback records. All right, we got a running back from Greenville, Mississippi, six foot two sixteen. Played for two colleges my entire career. Was a third round pick a two-time second-team All-ACC in 2022 and 2023. Decent speed here, 4 3 9, 40. Uh, Then finishes collegiate career with almost 2,000 yards in a 19 games started, 24 touchdowns. You're right, Oliver. Trey Benson. That's the guy you're looking for. It's only a bad team if they don't hit. Oliver was bummed out about his about getting the Cardinals. <laughs> exactly, Gilo. You, you you get what I you're picking up what I was putting down. I'm not going to be too hard to to break all those QB records. Nice. You got the bright white helmet right there, and Benson's auto right over here. Authentication sticker. Yeah, you might, might be able to to trade trade this with Michael Jaspi here for something. Fun fact, the Jets have never had a QB throw for 4,000 yards in a 16-game season. I'm pretty sure the Bears also have a similar stat like that. Got another one of these in the store, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go and check that out. All right, last helmet. Last helmet. It's a wild stat though, Adam. Yeah, Namath was the first QB to ever throw for 4,000 yards in 14 games. Yeah, I think with the number of games changing over the years, it'd almost be more interesting to see like yards per game kind of stats, you know? give us a better idea of there but yeah I mean obviously 14 14 games 4,000 yards is pretty good all right next player last player and last chance to play America's favorite game who am I here's another upcoming rookie a rookie wide receiver, born in Walker, Louisiana, 6'3", 209. Played for one college my entire career, a first round pick. Second team all SEC last year, a 4'3", 40. Pretty quick. Uh, do I have, why, I don't, my Wikipedia page does not have any college stats. 
as a freshman, I played in 12 games, nine starts, 28 receptions for 359 yards, two touchdowns. As a sophomore, six of 13 games started, 31 receptions, 361 yards, five touchdowns. And uh, in 2023, I led the FBS with 17 receiving touchdowns. So he's just gotten a little bit better and better every year. That got him to, got him to be a late first round pick. Went to LSU. Twenty-third overall, first round, twenty-third overall, LSU wide receiver. Just name those LSU wide receivers from last year. It is, for the Jaguars, it's Brian Thomas Jr. Love the Jaguars logo. Nice bold autograph for him right there. And that's Kenneth with the Jaguars. There you go, everybody. We got another eight box break of mini helmets in the store right now. These are a lot of fun. We can play a little trivia. It's a, it's a fun one. I, I love that, you know, people, it's pretty interactive. People in the chat get to respond. It's a lot of fun. Um, so give it a go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next mini helmet break. Bye-bye.